Orb shenanigans from him. Of course, Spongey, the in-game leader for Vox Eminor. And we're going to see the pistol now between these two sides as Streamline gets to start off on the CT. And immediately Havoc gets obliterated there as he tries to push through long. And Vox decide after that they don't they want any part of that long push anymore and allow Streamline to hold the line. And in fact, they're traveling to the other side of the map. It looks like they're going to go into Upper Dark. There's only so one guy on B site. It is Eustillo. And he is a bit of a frag beast. So be quite careful. It does get dinged early on. That's a, gr a good chunk of damage dealt by him, though. But his teammate's going to be taken down as well. And it's Azza to get the frag there on Destiny. So this is a good round here from Vox. Moving all over the map, but finding themselves finishing at B at the moment. Top gun at the back there. JK's and there's uh, Hedwig trying to make his way in. But three players, it does get a quick snap onto JK's. And for the next one, he does Lovely get it. Frag. Has a down as well. And he's, the time is really playing against him here. He hasn't got a kit in hand. And that bomb is getting really, really far ticked at this point. Top gun are uh, going to come in and just take him down. Headshot in the back of the head there. Good effort by Tedwick, though. Yeah. Got those two frags on uh, trying to reclaim that B bomb site. And you, you, well, you can even get. Uh, yeah, he bought a scout and actually dropped it onto Destiny. He's got some Kevlar. I thought maybe Tedwick would, Tedwick would get uh, Kevlar scout, but he's, he's going to be nice and give it away. And he's still got enough cash to buy P250 and uh, some nades because of all those kills. So this is a nice little buy and even a tag onto Sponge straight away. We do have Vox trying to make their way into the B bomb site now. They don't want to mess around. Back. There, there we go. Ferg does go down. And I really like this from Vox. I think this is a really, really good decision making to try to just stick together and uh, try to play quickly into a site. Although that said, they are going to back away at the moment. Perhaps not liking that they didn't get in like very quickly there. Didn't want to like force their entry and just wanted it to come a little bit easier. But they did come out on top here. One fr one frag for uh, just a little bit of damage received. Let's see how they're moving around here. They've sent Havoc back to just harass B to slow the rotation whilst the real push comes in to way long. And you can see that where is that moving towards middle here, away from the A site. So this is looking really good here from Vox. Seems as if that distraction towards B actually paid off right now as Vox charge into the bomb site. as uh, picks up the kill onto Eustello there. Havoc holds down the middle only momentarily though. Destiny coming in with the scout, but might want to keep this alive now and get some exits and see if you can bring this scout into the following rounds. But JK has another, another idea. Tedwick going to go down. Destiny just needs to keep himself alive. The spot. Two players there. Trying to take him out. Both pretty low and Destiny could very well get these frags actually. They keep pushing the issue here with that scout. Just one more tag and Sponge is finished. But he will get the kill and Vox will take the next round. So unfortunately he couldn't keep the scout alive and it's going to be fully co now for Streamline. Vox are playing those mind games. They, last round they went A-long and then rotated all the way back to... Or first round they went all the way back from A-long to B. Last round they went from B to A. It, I, th I think they're trying to, like, when they sent Havoc there to uh, try and slow that rotation down, they're definitely not expecting them where they're coming from. They're, they're playing it quite quite cleverly, Vox. So Ferg, who we're watching now, is uh, has he even played for the French team against all authority in the past and uh, used to used to actually leading teams but has actually handed the, the responsibility over to Destiny so that he could focus more on his individual performances and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how that actually how that actually ends up playing out but uh, this this team is a bit more of a looser approach but being the CTs at the moment being the more reactive side it's going to be a little bit more difficult to uh, use some of those strengths. So this is definitely a good start for Vox. And uh, we'll be too surprised to see Vox having a very strong T half, knowing their reputation. And uh, of course, we've all seen how well they can frag as well, and uh, how well um, they can actually get those AWP 
or per frags in as also. And on a map like this, playing for the picks, you can really exert your individual skill into huge advantages. Whereas on other maps, it can be a little bit more difficult when you, as you need you know, teammates to get you into angles of you know, flashes and you know, maps like Inferno. Got lots of smokes to contest with, makes it a bit more awkward on the T side. Dust 2 is not as awkward, it's much easier, more open. So we can see that the standard round here is, is very obvious from Vox. They've got man on long, man on upper dark, and the three round middle. We were talking about this earlier. And uh, Streamline have run out of grenades. And this is going to play very well into the favor of Fox when they eventually do execute the push. Looks like uh, Ferk does want to go for the peak, though, just as the players are turning the corner. Vox wanted to push long at the same time. In comes Top Gun, does get a nade in the face. And that's actually going to push them back a little bit. So Vox yeah. have to adapt it. Quite a smart nade there. And they're pushing onto Catwalk right now. Um, there's only one guy on site right now. We've got used to low um, on long, looking, looking pretty strong there. But Fox managing to get the uh, Azza there with his headshot. His aim, Azza, is aiming very, very well this game. Azza is beasting and a great monster onto the site and you can see JK's as well. Able to take down Destiny and yeah, you can really just see the individual skill coming into play here for Vox. They're finding these picks. It's coming very easily for them and Azza with another good frag there add to the tally that's three in the round and you can see the money is looking super good for them at the moment they so if we just look at the death counter here they've three of them have only died once and we've played four rounds already so um streamline unable to get a huge amount of damage in on some of these these uh these rounds even though they've been you know, less equipped quick push up middle here stally looking for a quick frag. Oh my goodness, does out take Havoc. Havoc out. Picks up the weapon as well as the push comes in onto the B site. And he's going to move up into Upper Dark as well with his teammates. This is actually looking quite interesting here for Streamline. They could create a lot of damage. And Moe coming in from the window picks up one frag as we have a three on two situation. Getting the spray in as well. Putting Top Gun down to 48 health as he goes for the blood. And it's two on two now here. Streamline looking. To wait for that bomb to get planted, they, they can maybe move in when it's kind of a, a two on one whilst that bomb's going down. And there it is. They make the move. But the smoke is still up there, so they can't really coordinate with that smoke still down. There they go now. In onto the site. Top Gun defending with the Tech 9. Even finds the headshot from that impossible angle right below. And it's going to be a 5 0 scoreline. Of Vox Eminot. Streamline were looking confident that game. They looked like they were possibly holding off that site and looking like they could have got that round, but it kind of fell apart. The, the aim with uh, JKS, he's, he's going 8 for 1 at the moment. He's top fragging for his team. He's, he's performing very well, and uh, it's, look, it's looking like it's bringing Vox Eminot those points. So, Tedwick has bought the Stere Org. I <laughs> almost never see any. I don't think I've. I don't remember the last match where I saw someone buy that, which is. Pretty interesting. <laughs> Hopefully we get to see some awesome action with it. I do remember like the week where there was a patch and the org was like ridiculously good it, and everyone was buying it because it was so incredibly overpowered. Then it got nerfed to infinity. Then they added the Call of Duty like scope to it. It's it's been through uh, quite a lot of changes as the org. I guess there's I guess many weapons have in this game, but get the uh Cat presence coming in here. Streamline have decided to go for a two-man setup here on, on Catwalk, which is uh, interesting. They do obviously do spot uh, Vox and, and do slow down the push there a little bit, but they've they've gone back into further defensive lines as you can see, uh, with Destiny on the window. They're looking into mid, so they've given up middle, and this is a really passive setup. But if they're on point with their counter grenades, unless Vox and Menor are going to just be absolute monsters on the Angels, they should be able to hold this quite effectively with this setup. Streamline moves out of position there just a second too late. Too early even. Trying to hold it off from three of Vox Eminas. There we 
go. We do get the frags coming in. The spray down from Ustilo able to take down two. And there is Ferg with the third frag. And Azza dropped down into CT, picks up two frags. Two this frags man is there. a machine. JK is coming in from long. He's got three players to find with no time left on the clock. Does not want to die after time. And he's going to try to hide here. Are they actually going to try to charge him down? They are a little bit, but he won't, uh, won't go down. But... Yeah, good defense there. Actually, I was very worried because Ferg was missing loads of uh, opportunities for quick frags. Um, but, of course, that crossfire come, came in with Ustilo on on, uh, on the graffiti position on the Goose. Ustilo definitely helped win that round there with his uh, Goose flanking play. I, I, th I think they need to try and employ more of those tactics, I think. If, if they do, they're going to be looking like to get more fa uh, frags. Because uh, Ferg was missing those shots and... Uh, they, they would have been important if he sprayed them down, it would have made their lives a lot easier to streamline. But now they have that round, um, I, th I think they could get the momentum rolling a bit. Still plenty of money for Fox M and Aver. And uh, cap presence and mid presence in general is pretty strong with uh, one player sneaking through long. Top Gun, looking to get the headshot on Yustela. Pushing out, gets Mo over by car. And is he gonna? Th that's three kills for Top Gun there, taking out Ferg on A site. Looking like they're gonna rotate. Bombs coming up through long. Then again, it's there, just left. And Top Gun spot him in that smoke. Excellent round there from Top Gun. Fantastic play. I mean, what do you say about that? It's just as if he was just walked into or just connected to a deathmatch server. Headshot only, just tapping away. And taking the down. That really does send a statement and really, really, I think, strikes fear into Streamline because if he's able to just walk up and just win these Angels in such a convincing fashion, uh, it definitely does not bode well for them. And uh, let me see quick cat play coming in to take down Spongey. As a Top Gun still going to be on the upper dark here with the AWP, just watching for those aggressive plays. In fact, it was, of course, Catwalk where they were aggressive, and they've noted that now, and they've changed their positions completely. Look at this, moving through towards Long now. They just started walking here, so JKs doesn't actually know that they're there yet, but he is on the angle, and he might just have an opportunity for a pretty mighty spray down, but the grenade is really good there. Does take down one player with it, and uh, there's number two. While on the B side of things, Ferg takes himself a frag and an AK. So, some good damage here from Streamlight. Still more to be done though, as Vox do make their way onto the A site. Come Vox M and his aim game is helping them out a lot here. Yeah. Uh, Streamline, their aim is good, but it's, it's not, not as powerful as Vox M. They've got a consistent aim, they're getting headshots, they're getting kills, they're getting those frags. Streamline, Sometimes they're getting some lovely, lovely shots, but sometimes they're just spraying all over the place. And Fur goes down there to Top Gun, which leads it to 7 1 for Vox Emina. Yeah, Vox is looking really, really good. And the thing is, is that Vox definitely have more to draw from when it comes to strategy and tactics, but it, this, this is where things get problematic is, you know, as you say, being able to exert their individual skills so much. And just finding the answers there, not having to, to dip into that, into into all of their, their strategy and tactics. But well, hold that thought. We do have a push here from Streamline up from the cat who's gonna catch Sponge off guard, going around the corner for the next kill. He's got teammates to back him up. They're all trying to push up middle at the moment into dark as well. As we see, as a backing way, taking a nasty chunk of damage there. Top gun low as well. So Vox in an awkward position. They've got two AWPers uh, left alive at the moment, so it's hard for them to have a huge degree of mobility. They're gonna, even going to smoke off their own flanks so that they can actually progress to some meaningful position here on the map. And Top, top Gun. gun. Find Tedwick. He's throwing away the weapons. Very responsible here from Vox. But with two players really low, definitely a little bit worrying. But this is a great great way to try to deal with the fact that the pistols aren't going to be so good on those ranges. Right, flash there did slow the push. No one saw with the push. Wow. Destiny got the bomb down as well. And there's two left, one of which has 11 points of health. Ferg charging in from the back, going to annihilate Top Gun. And it's just Havoc left over. And there it is. Moe with a great shot to the head as he jumps across for the spot. 
And what a round there from Streamline with the pistols. And not just an awesome round where they got they won well they won it, but they actually picked up a lot of value as well. We can see the orbs going to the hands of Streamline. Two to seven. Could just be the turning point for them. That's the aim they need, Streamline. That, that round was an example of what they can do. And if, if they keep that up, they could be win some round puts back, which puts them back in this game rather than... Ugh. Top Gun taking the pick onto a stir there. And another one with the Mutter. So confident. It's like watching Shocks play from Envy. Moving up Catwalk with such finesse with the AK in hand. And Sponge J now in CT spawn, able to cut off rotation effectively if they try to try to move towards the A site here. Or just catch them off guard completely. Let's really see that excellent rifle work coming in from a multitude of Vox players here. As it's just Tedwick left. And uh, it is it's so scary just watching Top Gun just completely destroy them that in this way. Work again, but he's gonna get sandwiched. They, they might even go for the knife here. I think they very well could have <laughs> knifed him, but gonna keep things sportsman like for now. So, eight to two the score there. Vox Seminole with a great, great first half on the T side, and it doesn't look like they're gonna stop anytime soon. To be honest, it should just go to Top Gun Cam at this point with these awesome entries that he's finding. Got pistols once again for Streamline. And, uh, Havoc, first man in. Good Straight touch. out onto A long. You can really see their confidence showing. Tedwick managing to get the frag though. But like you mentioned, their experience and their aim, it, they, they're confident. They know they can do well. And uh, you can see it in their plays. They're straight onto A site, which was left open. And uh, as far as Havoc goes there, I would, I would almost say, use the word hubris there, just walking in by himself with the orb, just completely exposed. Out by two pistols, definitely very risky play, but his teammates are going to clean things up. But if uh, Tedwick is going to save this AWP, that, that could be a little bit troublesome for them. But they know it where it is, they're going to try to annihilate it, make up for Havoc's mistake or misplay there against the pistols, and he's going to go down. So 92 now, Vox Seminole not stopping anytime soon and gaining these rounds. So Destiny and Ferga are both players who have played overseas in 1.6, and uh, as, as previously mentioned, Ferg actually lived in France before, playing on AAA, AAA against all authority. So they do, they do have uh, you know, experience on this team. But uh, at the moment, obviously, they're not finding so much love on the T side, and as against the, uh, sorry, the T side of Vox Seminole, who it largely seems to be the disparity of individual skill that largely seems to be what the issue is at the moment. And, uh, have to see if in this round, with Moe here on Catwalk, whether an opportunity can be found at an early round advantage. Fox Seminole, very slow, very cautious this round. Good change of pace here. Streamline have shown that they do like to get aggressive on some of these buy rounds. So this is a good way to try to keep them guessing. But they do have good cat control. As we can see now Fox taking over very long. Making their way in now. There's a nice nade over the top. Nice couple nades over the top. Even gets the finish with a headshot through the crate. Insult added to injury as Vox snap up the A bomb site. It's looking really easy here. Desi going for the jump shot. Does actually pick up the kill. <laughs> this jump, this jump. Ha shots. Havoc is just. He's confident in his pay. I, I like how he's orping. He's moving in. He's, he's not taking it too slow. Like right there. Takes out third. Sponger finishes it off for him. So 10 to 2 is a, a, little, a little bit of a, an improved performance in some respects there for Streamline, but Vox still be able to clinch these rounds easily enough. And uh, they don't have a huge amount of money in the bank, but it's not really going to be mattering all that much now as we are on the last uh, couple rounds of the first half. But uh, it's a very different story in the previous match. Insofar as Streamline, it's definitely going to be harder for them to pick up rounds on T side. I think against Vox, who already are showing such such awesome skills. Do you have uh, a quick push is coming in from Streamline though with these pistols? See if they can get some extra kills in. And so far, it's not really coming all that easily to them. It worked in earlier rounds, the uh, pistol rushes, but. 
seems like Vox Hammer know how to deal with it. They are beginning to shut it down. Leaving it in a 3v5 for a streamline. Not looking too good for them. Considering they're ecoing with no armor, they're, they're going to find it very, very difficult. If, if not impossible to retake this site, but maybe they'll get lucky. Seems like T's are leaving the site. And Sponge takes out Yen at third. And uh, Azar is uh, known to have one of the, the best aims in the Aussie scene. So, so far he's definitely been, been proving just that. And uh, although that said, it's been Top Gun who's been really, really on, on point so far with some of his entries. I mean, he reminds me of watching Shocks sometimes. Obviously, it's, it's uh, I don't want to make a direct comparison with Shocks because there is only one Shocks. But just the, the way that he moves on some of these entries with such confidence, tapping away, is is def definitely reminds me of how Shox plays sometimes. And we're gonna have Vox coming in now for a quick push on the B bomb site. And we're gonna be taking down Sponge Jay immediately. The trade comes in from Top Gun, very on point still. As Havoc looks for those orb shots into CT spawn. You can see how well these smokes have covered the approach onto the plateau. As it takes down Destiny, he's now on a one on three. So good defense coming in here from Streamline, but a minute and 10 seconds left for Azza to try to work this one on three clutch. He's got the bomb, he's got the sight. So this is very, very possible for him. Flash over the top. Can allow him to go for the peak. Doesn't get the spray onto Moe. And there you go. Streamline actually surviving with three players as well. So. Three rounds for them to the 11 of Vox now. Yeah, they definitely won at 11-4. They, they've got, like we sealed the last game, even though Streamline may be a different side on their T side, it's reversed. Instead of it being the CT side better, it seems like maybe this is T side. Uh, so Streamline might have some tactics up their sleeves for uh, T side, hopefully bringing back some rounds. Indeed. Um, now one thing about... Uh, JK's is he's uh, actually the youngest member of the team as well. Bit of a lurker for their T sides, but a very good defensive player as well on the CT side. Something to actually look out for. Very good at picking up those multi kills. So, uh, of course, you know some may remember Sniper. He was he was indeed replaced by JK's. So, have to see if. Uh, we're going to end up seeing some of those, those multi-kill defenses on the CT side, if there's even to be that many rounds for their CT side. Because right now it's looking pretty damn dominant on their T side alone. In comes the push now, they've got the smokes to uh, cut off the front and the, the front of the site and the, uh, the crossover position, which allows really easy entry here past some of the more precarious positions on the site. Vox also getting to split up middle here. Great fake coming in from Vox as Streamline are left confused, bewildered by some of these grenade plays. And look how well they are just splitting up and isolating the players and picking them off as a unit. This is fantastic work from what is to considered to be the best team in Australia. And they are proving it right now with the skill they're displaying, the strategy, the tactics. They are on point right now for sure. And 12-3 is a strong, strong T-half. And Streamline, I don't know. Will they be able to bring it back? <laughs> is the question. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm not. I, I don't feel confident at the moment. And it's it's just because Vox have been heading so hard. They're just they are just hitting so damn hard at the moment. And Streamline, it feels like they're out of their weight class. At least in this, it's just best of one, and uh, it's of course not representative completely of of their overall skill. But at the moment, today, Vox is looking much much better. But. Pistol has begun and already <laughs> kicking Havoc things saying. off. That is that's brutal. They need this. Streamline need this round and going down one player already is gonna really sting. Look how look how much uh, control Vox has of some of these mid angles actually. This is looking quite good and Sponge A has an HE ready to toss out. In fact, there's one on JK's as well. They are ready to push out soon. Another quick snap there. Picking them off before they get to push. This is massive for Vox. They're just whittling their numbers down. It's not leaving it to a very good uh, man advantage when it comes to uh, taking a side. They're going to have to get these frags now in mid. Hopefully, uh, Unit gets the uh, lovely pick there on Sponge. Just find the other guy. So, Streamline coming back into this, getting a couple frags of their own, but Havoc 
pulls out another one. They do get the bomb to the A site, so there is hope here now for Streamline. They are still a man down, though. It's down to Destiny and Ferg. Intelligent players. Got to play this smart, that's for sure. Have it going in for the challenge here onto the site. Ferg goes down, and the defuse can start to come in as uh, Destiny works away with the Glock here. Havoc has the cover. Grenades going in. And there it is, Havoc with another kill, and that's four, four from K. him. Great, great rounds. And that's 13 to 3, Streamline in a lot of trouble. But they've got the bomb down, so they can afford to go for a quick save and then get the pressure straight back on. But after that, there's no turning back. There's no looking back. They're even going to go and just force it up here. Three players with no armor. This is very, very bold, and I'm quite surprised they're going to take, take this risk. I can understand the logic behind it, but it's definitely... Um, Streamline are basically saying it's now or never. We need more rounds. They, they want to get that economical advantage early onto T side. If, if they get this round, Havoc, his aim is just on point in middle. He's taking those picks with headshots. He's performing very, very well. And uh, not a lifeline for Vox Aminok because they're all very good, but he's definitely making it easier for all of them. Yeah, Spongy looking for a close range shot. Snaps, there's still a close range. And that Mag 7 at close range is very deadly. It's a. Uh, Sponge using it well, pushing up close, trying for that jump shot, but gets countered. It's really good though because um, he get, he got a lot of information for his team there, spotting the one player on upper dark, nothing in lower dark. That pretty much allows him to know exactly where the remaining players are. The bomb spotted. Moe going to take down Havoc on the trade. It's three on two at the moment for Tedwick and Moe to deal with. In comes Top Gun, spray down Tedwick with that FAMAS and looking for the last player. He doesn't. Have a helmet. Manages None to get that headshot. So dangerous, the, the helmetless game here for the, the tease is very scary, but after 20 seconds left, and Moe's got to get a move on now, and JK's is just waiting here. This should be an easy kill for JK's. Moe's so low, in he goes. How dare where JK's is hiding, and he's going get, to uh, get taken down, so, I mean, the, 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 I guess... Some some in game leaders, the the logic often there is that, I, I, as you pointed out, if if you, if you get to a point where you're so far behind, every round is gonna there's gonna be risk in every round, even if there's ten percent chance to win it, you'd rather have that and then have more rounds to work with potentially, than save your way into a one round situation where you lose and that's it. So, it seems like they, that's the the kind of you know mythology behind that from them. Methodology, but. Uh, there's Azza up on the site, boosted up very quickly, impromptu. It looks like the bomb is traveling to B though. With one player, uh, JKS, sitting over in window. The bomb is beginning to go back to a mid. Okay, yeah, a quick frag on the top down here, but their, their approach will be halted largely by the excellent rifle work and streamline. Not going to be able to do all that much now. I would really have liked to have seen them just. Just go for the save and just get the AKs and, and the nades and so on, just to see what, what something more normal would have looked like from them. They would still have had the advantage as well, because they would still be playing against some mag, some famuses. That's that's one of the reasons why why definitely it's it's a it's a hard call to make there. But you know, the surprise buy, sometimes the element of surprise is uh, Oh okay, Destiny. The one dig is real. Sending Azza to the bench with that one. Two on two now, Vox. Very looking. important frag there. Fox looking uh, a little bit in trouble here. We do have Havoc coming in with a quick frag. Unfortunately, he can get into a good position, and Jake is going to finish off Murray. So, yeah, caught in uh, poor positions there on the post plant. But that's uh, going to be the round here for Vox as they go 15 to 3. Match point now for them. And we are going to have ourselves a predicament for Streamline. They do have enough money to get a buy going, but they're gonna, Fox are actually gonna go for a bit of a pause, and uh, yeah, this is a very brief one guys, only 10 seconds, we'll be back in the match, there it is, so yeah, Vox, uh, it's, it's gonna be really interesting to see how they play against all these teams, because of course, you know, that the big the big question mark is, is you know, is if anyone, if anyone can actually top them in the group. You know, they are the favourites. There is, there is no doubt about that. They've got the most international experience as a CS:GO team. They've got a really strong lineup. 
And when they're the favorites, it definitely doesn't do anything good for the morale of Streamline, though. Th that they know they're going up against such a difficult team. Their, their mentality isn't just right about it. They need to be confident. And uh, without any Akers, they do have two Akers this round, though. But like you mentioned, if, th if they saved and used all full AK by or an AK and an AWP, maybe we'd have seen some rounds come back. But looks like they're going to push in too long, very cautiously, checking all those angles. JKS alone over at B site. Two stacked up on Cat, and we've got Havoc watching mid. He's been performing brilliantly on mid, getting those, uh, getting the info and those picks. If he uh, just peeks at the right, he might catch out one of the uh, streamlines, but no, he's rotated. Very, very slowly up of uh, up long. And they slowly creep. They've got the smokes, but there's a small gap. And uh, those small gaps can be the death of rushes. Uh, as you can see, Spongey gets quite a bit of damage on these players as they file on into the bomb site. Vox looking for the retake. The bomb's going to go down. As there were two quick frags, Havoc pulls in one on Destiny. And we've got Moe and Ferg on the bomb site to defend this bomb. This is going to be really, really difficult right now. And there you go, a full survival here for Vox Seminole. They're going to take this one pretty easily. And, and this is a team that. As far as Australia goes, I think they've only lost one match on LAN ever, and that was against Immunity. So they are going to be demonstrating their dominance, but of course it's not the last you're going to see of them in these leagues. And uh, we do have one more match here for Oceania uh, to, to broadcast to you today. But I will remind uh, for our European and North American viewers that we are also running the qualifiers for the Face It League. And the way that works is... It, will get, it's, it basically creates accessibility to, to any of you guys who, who have teams. If you think that you have what it takes to be in the Face It League, then uh, when we have, uh, for the respective regions, the, the two bottom teams at the end of this league, then you'll be able to play against those two teams in a close qualifier to try to qualify yourself into the main Face It League. So it makes it a uh, very accessible um, high-level league. So get your teams in on that. But uh, as far as a, a post-game wrap-up goes, Fox just seemed to basically... One-sided, very, yeah, very one-sided. Their, their aim just... It, it helps. They, the, the experience, when you're playing up against international teams, you get a whole w wide range of uh, uh, st tactics and stuff. You, you, know, you can almost guess what they're doing, especially with a lower-level team. I think it helped them out a lot here, and it's, it proved with a 16-3 uh, scoreline. Definitely. Really, really skilled players there. It was a joy to watch some of the entries from players like Top Gun and obviously Azza. I think those are the two ones that shine the most and definitely two of the players to look out for for game impact as far as that team goes. I really want to see how they get challenged in the future because I want to see how you know the, the, the new addition of uh, JKS adds into, into the dynamic of their team because definitely. we didn't get to see it all that much in that game. But uh, guys, we have one more match coming up. We'll... Be back after the break for the last match here for the Face It League Oceania.